Let Florida Credit Union start up a new car loan for you today. No more waiting, hassles, or stop signs. You can even apply online. With a strong financial team behind you, you can enjoy great rates and fast approvals. It's all about personalized service and a streamlined process. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. Career Source Citrus Levy Marriott brings together business and community partners, economic development leaders, and educational providers to connect employers with qualified, skilled talent, and job seekers with employment and career development opportunities. Tune in the first and third Wednesday of each month at 9.30 a.m. to Career Source Citrus Levy Marion and learn how they can help you. That was the sound of a tree falling. It could be your tree. You're going to have it trimmed, but never got around to calling Pride Tree Service. It could have fallen in a field, and now all you have to do is call Pride Tree Service, and they'll have it quickly out of the way for a great price. But don't wait until the tree falls. It may not fall in the field. It may hit your car, your house, or worse. So call Pride Tree Service today and avoid all those headaches before they happen. Pride Tree Service, 840-0750. That's 840-0750. Hey, Matt, I know Sunrise Automotive does auto stuff, but I need some tires for my truck. Can you recommend someone? Uh, yes, I can. We do that. No, I mean, I need them installed and balanced and all that. Yep, yep, we do that. Well, my son needed his windows tinted. Yep, we, we do that. I need too. my seat replaced. Yep, yep, we do that, too. I need a new roof line and a new spoiler. And a new yep, and we can even do that, too. Okay, okay, I get it. I suppose you can also do a radio show, too, huh? Well, as a matter of fact, join me every Monday at 10 for auto repair with personal care here on The Source. Of course you do. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. For today, some sunshine mixing with clouds. Watch out for a thunderstorm during the afternoon and evening hours. The high 88 to 92. Partly cloudy overnight, though 72 to 76. Times of clouds and sun tomorrow with a shower and thunderstorm or two around in the afternoon. The high 88 to 92. And for Saturday, clouds and some sun with a couple of thunderstorms mainly in the afternoon. The high 90 to 94. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Joe Lundberg. All right, uh, 11 minutes before 8 o'clock. Nice looking Thursday morning, 73 degrees here at the studios of WOCA, broadcasting live from the Paddock Mall. Uh, okay, a couple things in the news. Do I have a, a, a ribbon cutting I need to mention, Robin? Yep. All right, here, I do. Yep, okay. you have one. All right. Uh, there is one today. Today, this morning at 9 o'clock, it's at St. Mark's United Methodist Church at 1839 Northeast 8th Road. And uh, that's here in Ocala. The uh, ribbon cutting is to celebrate the opening of their homeless program to rehabilitate men and women and restore them to self-efficiency. Well, that's a nice one. Uh, They have a website. It's called openarmsvillageocala.org. They have a phone number, 622-4475. Anyway, so it's 9 o'clock this morning, St. Mark's United Methodist Church, 1839 Northeast 8th Road. Yeah. Have I been there? That, That sounds familiar. Oh, yeah, Alex performed there with, oh, with Cassidy. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's right on Silver Springs Boulevard. East. All right, uh, Bears are in the crosshairs, or will be. There, there, will be oh. a, there, there will be a bear. Oh, you didn't hear this? No. The, uh, our state legislators decided that, yes, we can uh, start hunting bears. I guess they're expecting that in October, the last week in October, when the hunt will take place, um, about 320 bears probably will be killed. Uh, by people hunting the the, pro- the s- opponents of the idea, which apparently was 75 percent of, uh-huh. of the people who contacted the commission, so it's kind yeah. of interest. It's kind of interesting that 75 percent were opposed to it, 25 percent wanted it, and they went with it. They went with the minority. It is. It is of kind majority. of interesting to hear that, oh. isn't it? That, that we don't awful. care what you want. We're going to do what we want. Exactly. Elected officials are supposed to go with the majority. Uh, so anyway, um, do you know, this is really more than a story about the bears. Mm-hmm. This is a story about your legislators listening to what you have to say. That's right. Evidently, they didn't listen. That's, and that's and you're not the only one saying that. Um, oh. Let's see. Uh, the Sierra Club's Drew Martin said... Um, bears are not a threat to the public. Yeah, their, their their whole thing was this, and, and and bears are a threat to the public. If the if the bear is in your backyard, it's not a cute, cuddly animal. It is a very dangerous animal. That's right. So 
to make it illegal to shoot that bear would be wrong. Mm-hmm. You should be able to shoot that bear. Right. I mean, exactly. I mean, with within reason. I'm not saying, oh, there he is. I mean, you can try to scare him away. I wouldn't. Yeah, obviously, you're not going to kill something mm-hmm. just for the fun of killing it. Well, some people might. Yeah. But but I mean, ultimately, there should not be any consequences for protecting yourself from a wild animal. However, the 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 opposition to this whole idea was that if you're going to go out into the woods to kill bears, there's no reason to believe that the bear that you killed would have made its way to your backyard. That's right. So, and and um, th- and that's what they're saying. I live not too far from the railroad tracks, mm-hmm. and the railroad tracks were determined to be how a bear got onto, is it 17th Street over there, Robin? Yes. Oh, right. Okay. Yep. Th- remember there was a bear a few years ago, and yes. they and they said that's how the bear got there. It walked on, down the railroad tracks, which mm-hmm. <laughs> I would have loved to have seen that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and, and I live right near those railroad tracks, so it, it could have come into my yard, mm-hmm. but I wouldn't have shot it if it was on the railroad tracks. I might have, hey, you're going to get hit by a train. I might, I might have done something. Yeah, or called Fish and Wildlife. Right. Call, some, call somebody else, but... Anyway, I, I, and, and again, we're, we're kind of focusing on the bears when the real story here is the legislators because... <clears throat> they didn't listen to the majority, and they're supposed to. Let's see what the listeners have to say. Good morning. You're on the air. Good morning, Larry Robin. The thing is, if you're going into the woods to kill the bears, where are the bears giving a problem? They're not, it's in people's backyards. That's, what, that's what they're saying, yeah, yeah. So my point being is, you know, uh, you're, you're going after, you know, it's the old story. Just because uh, one bear is bad doesn't mean all bears are bad. They're wild critters, and uh, wild critters uh, are going to, uh, usually they're very wary. So they're going to be very careful about what, you know, or, yeah. or very uh, or defensive. And if you get too near to them, that's their defense to go uh, yeah. counterattack. Absolutely. So anyway, I think it's just wrong. And uh, you're going to shoot somebody, have an authorized person with, a, uh, say, a shotgun or something like that that doesn't carry too far, and uh, let them uh, kill the bear in the city, but not the one in the woods. Yeah, I think you're right. And 75% the of the people th- agree with you. Thank you, Sonny. Do you know what they do out in Yellowstone? I saw this video one time that the uh, the rangers have paintball guns. Uh-huh. And and they make a lot of noise. So so they don't kill the bears. They just m- make them realize this is not a p- happy place to be. Yeah. Because these paintball they didn't have paint in the paintballs. They had the like a clear stuff. Mm-hmm. So it's just so it hits the bear, it hurts the bear mm-hmm. like probably a lot. Yeah. But it doesn't kill the bear and with the loud noise and the painful stinging of the of the paintball Mm-hmm. projectiles, whatever, they figure it out. Oh, gee, I'm not going back there. That's a bad place to be. Yeah. And, uh, too, now maybe the, the 75% that were against this, they'll take this to the Florida Supreme Court because there's plenty of time hmm. before. I, I hope they do. I hope they take it to the Florida Supreme Court to override the governor. Good morning. You're on the air. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I'm going to throw something into your 75% argument. How many of the callers were from out of state? This was a this was a message. This this was a campaign uh, from the Humane Society of the United States. How many of the callers were from out of the state? That means they have no standing in the Florida court. Does that mean that twenty five percent were also from outside the state? Uh, it- I would say more of the twenty five percent were from in the state. And more of the seventy-five percent might have been from out of the state. Speculation, though. There's, yeah. I mean, I mean, if you're going to say, yeah. If, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, I think I think it's reasonable speculation. Based on, yeah, you know, probably. Uh, well, because the, the, it was a campaign led by the Humane Society of the United States, which is a, a nationwide organization. So you had callers from Michigan and Minnesota and Iowa and, you know, uh, all over the country. Okay. All right. I appreciate the call, so, Jim. So likely the, the true percentage probably was closer to 50-50. Okay. All right. I guess I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, if, if you're saying that people from outside the state were in, were involved in this discussion. Uh-huh. 
then I would assume that there are people outside the state, like the National Rifle Association, of the, the hunting people. Right. You know? Exactly. I, I'm not opposed to hunting. No. And I'm not. No. And, and I'm, I'm not. And I'm not. On. Uh, you know, unaware of the need to sometimes cull the, the the, like the alligator thing. Yeah. You know, to cull it a little bit in alligators' cases. You know. Well, uh, are are these documented then? Are all the are all the people that he says from uh, out of state are, are all those people documented that says yes, I'm in Michigan? Well, I don't I don't know, but but here's the thing: if you're a legislator and yeah. you're supposed to represent the people, mm-hmm. then you would have that duty to look at the at the the letters and say, well, uh, remove all of the letters that have nothing to do with uh, that don't come from in the state. Yeah. Good right. morning. You're on the air. Sonny again, I agree with your pink ball deal, except it should have paint in it to identify the problem there. The other thing is, I, before I came to Florida, I was living in a town in upstate New York, and it was common occurrence uh, for to see bears uh, every once in a while roaming around. And it's the, if you take away or you don't let them have garbage or... There's nothing there for them to really uh, go after. They will not hang around. That was another uh, argument. I yeah. lived on a dead end street, and the end street, right, the end house. Uh, my neighbor came out. He was uh, elder, older than I am. He came out, and he thought he saw a dog sleeping under the tree. Well, boy, I found out to be a bear. <laughs> and his oh, grandchildren well. would come and visit him every day. Yeah. And and. Uh, they just uh, let it be, and everybody stayed put with, at a safe distance. Yeah, yeah. And eventually the bear uh, went away because uh, wild berries and stuff that they normally eat aren't found on the street. <laughs> but uh, if you're going to put garbage in open containers and stuff and whatever else around, uh, I don't know. What well, to and tell you. yeah, and Sonny, it thank you. Them. Appreciate the call. That's what they were arguing. Also, is that we need w- when you go to the state parks, you see that they have these bear-proof uh, trash cans. Real yeah. quickly, good morning. You'll be the last caller. Hey, good morning, Larry. Um, hey, <clears throat> I was uh, when I was at university, I had the opportunity. They had a, a traveling show. They had this thing called a wrestling bear, and I got a chance to wrestle this black bear. <laughs> and I can tell you categorically, there's only two places you could shoot a bear with a uh, paint gun that would get his attention. One would be the eyeballs and uh, and uh, another place. Another <laughs> place. <laughs> I, I, Leave it at that. Thank you. Appreciate it. From the Paddock <laughs> Mall Studios, this is WOCA, Ocala, Gainesville, The Villages, 1370 AM, 963 FM, The Source. News Radio. I'm Lillian Wu. The second prison employee arrested in connection with the upstate New York prison break has now bailed himself out. Corrections officer.